Hello everyone, this is Rob Silva again. I'm gonna just demonstrate very quickly how to create a very basic animation in Cinema 4D and how to import a animation into Unity and make it work. So let's just start and get down to business, all right? I'm gonna just get one of the prefabs here, cube. Uh, no much secrets in this cube. Um, let's get a cube here um, and uh, I'm gonna just put the cube very nicely on um, on the top of the plane. You honestly don't need to do none of this because you um, can um, resize and uh, move your animation anywhere. Um, Unity. Um, I'm going to select my prefab. I'm going to go to coordinates. I already have 90 frames here in Cinema 4D. And what I want to do, I want to rotate um, this cube. So I'm going to record my orientation. I'm going to change my keyframe to 90. And I'm gonna um, record 360 degrees, record my orientation. Let me just play and see what's up with this now. All right, so you can see that the cube is rotating. But there's a problem here. The problem is that the cube, it starts and just stops when it hits 90. What we want to do is we want to do a continuous um, animation. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to come to window and then we're going to go to timeline F curve and you can see here that is the if I play um, you can see that it starts low and pick it up and stops here and it starts from the zero again what we want to do is we want to select the cube and click on this button here it's called soft when you click soft, um, it creates a continuous and a straight line and no curve anymore. So let's see what's going to happen here. I'm going to just go ahead, I'm going to play. And now you can see that the cube is uh, rotating continually without stopping. Cool. All right, so I have my animation here. I will not add any material on this cube because all the materials I can add that in Unity. So the cube is done. The animation is done. I'm gonna go ahead, select file, export, and for Cinema for Unity, you need to export um, FBX. There's other place, others that you can export to, but for animations, usually FBX. So import FBX. You're gonna go. There is no material, so you can uncheck this if it's checked. Go to animation, and you make sure that tracks are checked. Um, let's see. We don't have cameras, it's blinds, lights, none of this because all that you can add through Unity. Cool, I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna save this. Uh, super Cube. Saving my desktop. And then let's see it working in Unity. All right, everyone. Rob Bex here. Um, let me just go over Unity right now. Um, I have here a very basic template that I just created with an OVR um, camera rig. Um, here is my game, um, my game scene, and my game view. So what I'm going to do here is I, I have that uh, file that I created, uh, the OBX file that I put into my desktop, which is right here, Supercube. I would just and drag it into Unity. Um, so I have here the Super Cube I just created, right? Um, to Cinema 4D. Um, here you have a desire here. When you op click on desire, you're gonna see uh, the mesh. Uh, and you can see here Cube Mesh and then you will see the animation clip which is usually a triangle here. If you don't have this animation clip here, it's because you didn't save it in Cinema 4D as an animation. 
and you can see here an emission clip. Um, here in Inspector, if I click uh, on the play button here, you're gonna see that my animation is really moving at a very fast speed. Um, can move it a little bit slower, but you can see that's nicely moving, it's working. All right, so first thing that I'm gonna do is, um, it has all the properties you can see, don't have any um, material, you can add the material later. The first thing that I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to my scene, and I'm gonna just drag it, this animation into the scene, right there. I can drag it there, or I can just drag it here too, to the hierarchy. Either way, okay, it's gonna work. Um, so you can see the size of it, it was added very nicely. Uh, that is the position here, that's the size of it. Again, you can resize this, your animation will not be affected. Um, your objective will not be affected if you resize it. Okay, right there. Cool. If I click play here, nothing happens. Uh, let me just move a little bit my, uh, my camera. So you actually can see the animation, obviously. Uh, cool, right there. Just let me just move a little bit. Uh, I don't even need to move the cube a little bit. Just rotate the cube a little bit so you can, right there, you can see the cube there. Um, so if I click play here again, you will not be able to see anything moving because the animation wasn't added yet into the cube. So the first thing that you're gonna do is um, you can um, select the, um, your cube, um, you're gonna come here to animation. So you can see this is selected. I'm gonna come here to the animation in the inspector. And uh, you need to click on loop time if you want your animation to keep looping. If you don't want to, you don't need to click on loop time because um, I want my to keep looping. Uh, and then you're gonna click apply. When you click apply, this animation clip will keep looping. And what you're gonna do next is you're gonna go select the animation clip and you're gonna add it into the object that needs to be animated, which is your cube. And when you add the animation, this file here is gonna be generated. Um, and this file is the animation controller. So if you, and you just make sure they save, and when you uh, let me just uh, reorganize here my, um, my camera rig because everything crashed and my unity crashed. There you go. Right there. So I'm going to be able to see now this cube. Right there. So now if you click play, um, you're going to see. Um, that object um, looping and the animation in play. That's kind of plain and simple, okay? Uh, again, um, I want my animation to loop continually, and uh, so I added the option. Cool, all right. Um, next video that I'm gonna show is how to import an Alembic um, animation from Cinema 4D. It's a little more complex um, animation. Uh, please take advantage and uh, watch the next video. Uh, it would be great. Uh, so thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and um, see you later.